Welcome to this new video and today we are going to talk about the biggest challenge in 2023 in the maritime industry. So you have to know that the maritime industry is a big and global industry and there are a lot of challenges, especially these days. And I'm going to talk about three big challenges in the industry. The first one, which is sustainability. So the sustainability is very, very important. And it would be the biggest challenge of the industry. And of course, because ships are not the best in terms of sustainability, you know that biggest part of the world in terms of fleet use fossil fuel. And fossil fuel is not the best thing. We need to find alternatives. So this year and for the upcoming years, we will see a lot of alternatives on projects. I just want to list some alternatives. So of course, the first one will be everything related to electric propulsion system on battery, which is a good thing because this is very famous with car, for example. But it's a big problem in terms of uh, autonomy uh, because batteries are not efficient and uh, especially the fact that a ship need to go from a continent to another continent, which is a huge. We need to find solution to use battery on board ships. We need to work on it because there are a lot of problems right now. But this technology is very popular and it has a lot of potential. Then we have another technology such as using uh, biofuels it can be a good uh, alternative to fossil fuel because of course it's better for the sustainability there is less emission etc we have of course leaky fuel natural gas the same we have less emission we have we can use the sun we can use the wind and finally the i think very popular one this is hydrogen hydrogen can be a good alternative to uh, fossil fuel some boats run only with hydrogen and it will be i think the future and some companies, some startups work on it. Some shipbuilder just build a 100% hydrogen boat. We even have this in the yachting industry, but some boats uh, already use hydrogen. Some boat just run at 100% with hydrogen because it works and this is very efficient. Some this year and for the upcoming years, we will see a lot of projects about hydrogen. Then we have another factor in sustainability. This is ship recycling facilities because uh, when a, a ship is, is too old, we need to destroy the ship and sometimes it's not sustainable the way we do it. So we need to find a better way to just recycle boats. So that can be a very big part of the industry and a big challenge for the future. Then we have the second challenge, one of the biggest one, this is digitalization. On digitalization, it's very interesting, especially data on analytics. By collecting data on analytics, we can just reduce the consumption of a boat. We can just uh, optimize the maintenance of, of a boat and it can be very useful. And I think in the future, uh, and even now, some companies develop very good uh, platform, very good software, very good project about it, about uh, data and analytics. And I think it's very profitable to do it. And that's the future of our industry. And this is so efficient. We have the proof. So you just be focused on this point of this challenge. But it will be always a challenge to just use digitalization to digitalize our industry because that's the future. And then the biggest challenge after sustainability on digitalization, it will be technology. Using technology, it's very efficient. And I think the biggest project about technology, this is artificial intelligence and especially autonomous ships. In the future, the boat will be 100% autonomous. That's the reason why some companies, uh, just on especially ship builder, just try to develop this kind of boat, this kind of ships, because we have a big shortage in the industry to work with new crew members. Less people want to, to sail on board a ship and that's a big problem. But with autonomous ships, this problem will disappear and then a uh, boat will be more efficient. Um, the consumption will be reduced and last but not least, uh, more secure. And then also something very important, we will reduce the cost. Then we can use artificial intelligence in other way, for example, with port operation, it can be by uh, with cargo handling operations such as 
loading and unloading a boat using uh, algorithm uh, with artificial intelligence. So it can be very powerful. And last but not least, we have this famous technology, which is autonomous drones. Autonomous drones are the future and some company already developed this kind of drone. With drones, we can do a lot of things such as cargo inspection, mapping, surveillance, cyber security tasks and much more. That's very interesting. So uh, I have seen some companies developing uh, drones and I think it can be very profitable because it will be very useful for the future. So I think I've said everything now about the biggest challenge of the industry. As you can see, the maritime industry is a global industry, a very important industry. This industry always adapts and that's very interesting. So if you like this kind of content, don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel. And thank you again for watching this video. See you for the next video.